myself Pramod Pawar and I'll be introducing you to the Root Certifying Authority of India. In this session, basically I'll be covering the control of certifying authority, the Root Certifying Authority of India, how it is set up and the key applications with respect to the PKI and what is the PKI scenario, PKI implementation scenario in India and the India PKI forum. So let's go to the session. Let us see a brief introduction to the Root Certifying Authority of India. So I'll be covering the role of RCI, licensees, PKI implementation in India, India PKI forum. The Indian IT Act provides the control of a certifying authorities, that is the CCA, to license and regulate the working of CC, CAs. The CCA has been empowered to regulate the functioning and operation of the CAs. For this reason, the CCA operates the RCA for certifying the public keys of the CAs using its private key. It means that the RCI has its own public key and a private key pair and the CA's public key and a private key pair are certified using the private key of the RCA. The CCA has established the RCA under the section 18b of the Indian IT Act to digitally sign the public keys of the CA's in the country. Following are the requirements to be fulfilled by the RCA. First, the license issued to the CA is digitally signed by the CCA. All public keys corresponding to the signing private key of the CA are digitally signed by the CCAs. It means that the public key and the private key pair of the CAs are digitally signed by the CCA's private key. Relying parties can verify the CA's public key signed by the CCA through the CCA's website. It means that the CCA will hold its all the certificates of the CAs which are signed by the CCA's private key on the CCA's website as well. And these certificates can be can be as well found out on the individual CA's website. The CCA performs the root CA functions in accordance with the CPS of the RCA. It means there is a certificate practice statement which contains the detailed policies and practices which the RCA will be following and the CCA will perform all its operations in accordance with this CPS. The RCA root certificate is the highest level of certification in India. We mean here is that the RCA certificate which contains the public key of the root certifying authority of India and this certificate is self-signed. It is certified by the private key. It is signed by the private key of the RCA. It means it is a self-signed certificate and there is no one else who is actually certifying this certificate. It is used to sign the public keys of the licensees. It means all the certificates of the CAs are signed by the private key of the CCA and the RCA certificate is the self-signed certificate. Now let us see what are the CAs are there under the hierarchy of the RCA. So one is the safe script, there is a private certifying authority and the website of the uh, safe script www safescript.com. It is very important to know the websites of each of these CAs as well because you know like you will be uh, downloading the certificates of these individual CAs from their website. NIC is another CA. Basically this is an organization of the NIC CA is the one who provide certificates to the government organizations and its website is nic.nicca.nic.in. IDRBT is another CA. It is established by Reserve Bank of India 
for issuing certificates to banking industry for infinite transactions. Another CA is like TCS, private certifying authority to issue certificates to individuals, company and government users, MTNL, customs and central excise, encode solutions and there is one more recently uh, uh, a new CA has been established that is by 3i Infotech. Now let us see the current scenario of PKI in PKI implementation in India. As we have seen that you know the seven CAs like I had mentioned uh, eight, eight names including 3i and one of the CAs is now I think it's not in operation so there are seven uh, CAs at the moment by uh, licensed by the RCA and the total number of certificates issued by all the CAs are more in India are more than 10 million certificates let us see some of the key industry segment where PKI can be applied like we see huge scope in government G2G and G2C uh, segments then banking in inter and intra banking transactions corporate internet banking retail banking financial services and broking b2b healthcare and telemedicine now in these key enable segments like if you see in the government these are the some of the applications where pki can be applied and some of them uh, we have already seen some of the applications which are available right now in government if you see filing income tax returns online uh, by taxpayers this is already in place citizen id citizen id uh, id card where already thoughts have been given whether pki can, can whether pki can play a role there issuing forms and licenses like various forms and licenses which are issued by the government to either to the end customers or to the other government organizations maybe with the PKI can play a role there reservations and e-ticketing like already we have seen where uh, the reservation system PKI has been used especially the uh, uh, railway agents they are mandatory we, they have to use the uh, uh, PKI banking we see huge scope in the inter and intra banking messaging systems corporate internet banking applications internet banking if you see at least between the uh, bank to bank all the transactions are PKI enabled though at this moment we we don't see in internet banking PKI has not yet penetrated but I, I think the day is not very far where uh, PKI can PKI will be used there financial services and broking online trading electronic contract notes where again PKI can play a major role here in b2b online tendering e-procurement we already seen the e-procurement has taken place if you see the railway uh, indian railways they have made mandatory the e-procurement so pk has to play a role there healthcare healthcare management system electronic medical recording electronic prescription these are some of the places where PK is penetrating so these are some of the existing applications where PK has already been um, used you see Ministry of Commerce and Industry where electronic application and approval of special economic zones and export oriented units online applications for license by exim community both these places where PK has already been placed income tax department online tax returns are now uh, file through uh, PKI where if a person has a digital certificate he can uh, file his tax returns through internet and there is no need for him to personally go and submit his paper based application banking already I said that all the transactions between bank to bank are, e are PKI enabled and some of the banks are already uh, 
placed uh, PKI technology for corporate banking though though not all the banks some of the banks like ICA, ICICI Punjab National Bank they already the corporate banking scenario is PKI enabled and there is a huge scope for internet banking for the end users I think the moment the day where the internet banking used by the individuals is PKI enabled then in the PKI scenario the PKI implementation will be enormous and huge it will it will be it will be a very huge implementation because the uh, size and the scale to be considered for penetration I, I, I think the internet banking may be one of the very key application where PKI can penetrate to its maximum scale financial services and brokering two major depositories in India have their applications PKI enabled that is the NSTL and CSTL National Security Depositories Limited Central Depositories Services Limited two major stock exchanges in India have secured their transactions with PKI that is the BSC and NSC e-procurement e-tendering applications are already PKI enabled wherever it has been mandated like as I said in Indian railways where e-procurement is mandated coming to the India PKI forum this is an association of organizations that are interested in promotion of PKI and primary members of this association are the CCA and all the licensees and it is open for anyone to be a member to this organization anyone can join this organization to for the promotion of the PKI now some of the broad objectives which have been set by the PKI forum are, is to promote the use of PKI and facility facilitate the penetration electronic transaction in the society to interact with other national and international PKI forums to sponsor conduct and organize training on subjects of interest to disseminate information about electronic transaction so if you see the broad objectives of this PKI forum is mainly like to promote the PKI technology to be penetrated within our country and that's where the PKI outreach program that is a pop program which we are conducting the PKI outreach program training programs which we which we are conducting are actually in line with this objective and from and and this was one of the major uh, objective to achieve this objective we have started this PKI outreach program training programs across the uh, nation and I, I believe like we have conducted several programs so uh, so the impact is quite huge yeah with this I'll just end my session thanks a lot